Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In the previous examples, we talked about the aggregate functions like average, minimum, and maximum. And we did it three different examples to illustrate each one of the functions. But let's say if you wanted to calculate all the three values in one query, how are we going to do it? It's very simple. So let's talk about a business requirement. We have a business requirement for a chemical equipment and processing company where we have to find the max in, in invoice amount paid, the minimum invoice amount paid, and the average amount invoice amount paid by the ABC customer. So we're going to calculate all the three different values for the ABC customer. How we're going to do it? We're going to go ahead and go back to a developer console. The query is going to be, so the first thing is select what we have to calculate. We have to calculate the maximum of the, the maximum of the, amount paid so we're going to go ahead and use the api name so this is the amount paid underscore underscore c let's say the name of this will keep it as max amount similarly we want to calculate the minimum as well so we're going to go ahead and say the minimum of the invoice amount and we'll call it as min amount and similarly, we are going to go ahead and calculate the average and then the average of this particular field and we'll name this as average amount. So we, have, we are calculating all the three things, the maximum of this particular amount paid field, the minimum value of the invoice amount and the average value of the invoice amount from the which table? From the Apex invoice table for which customer? where the customer name is equals to ABC customer. So where the customer name is equals to ABC customer. For this particular customer, we are calculating the minimum amount invoice amount, the maximum invoice amount, and the average invoice amount. So whatever the result is, we are storing it into this particular list called aggregate result list. And let's say the name of the list is grouped results. So this is the name of the list, grouped results. Now let's say what is in the group result. So we can go ahead and display the value here of the group result. Now if you wanted to display the individual minimum amount, the maximum in amount, uh, and the average amount individually, how are we going to go ahead and do it? We can use create a variable called object minimum amount. What is going to be the value? We're going to be the group result index of zero dot of get. What is the name here? So the name is this for the max amount. We'll call it as max amount. Similarly, the next thing is the min amount. So how are we going to do it? We're going to go ahead and copy this line and just say min amount. And what will be the value here? So the calculate the min amount. The min amount would be equals to this. Similarly, the last one we have is the average. So we're going to go ahead and display the average amount, which is equals to the grouped result index of zero dot of get. Which one we are interested in? We're interested in the average amount. So this is the, the column name. So you can say average amount here. And now we are going to go ahead and display the results. So we're going to say system dot of debug maximum amount invoice amount paid by the ABC customer. How much is it? It is equals to this. Similarly, the minimum invoice amount paid by the ABC customer is going to be this one. And next thing is, if you wanted to display the average invoice amount, so we can go ahead and say the average invoice amount paid by the customer is this. So this is the way to display all the things. 
So let's go ahead and execute the program. So what we have done, the only thing we changed in the query is now we are calculating all the three things in the same query. We are calculating the maximum of this particular field. We are calculating the minimum of this particular field. And then we are also calculating the average of the same field. Um, apex amount underscore paid underscore C. And then from which table? From the apex invoice table where the customer name is equals to ABC customer. So we are only interested in this ABC customer. So the maximum amount is going to be equals to what? 700. What is the minimum amount? Minimum amount is going to be 100. What is the average amount? Average amount is, was approximately $433. So let's go ahead and see if the results match. So if you go ahead and execute, the spelling is wrong. It's going to be aggregate results. Go to the debug only. You can see the maximum amount is 700, the minimum amount is 100, the average amount is 433.33. So maximum invoice amount is this. The individually, we have displayed the values of the maximum invoice amount, the minimum invoice amount, and the average invoice amount. So this is an example of the aggregate functions where we have kind of used all the three aggregate functions all together. And this is the how you're going to go ahead and calculate the difference. The most important thing to remember is the result is the list of aggregate result. And then we are fetching the maximum amount using the index zero, minimum amount, and the average amount. So this is about the aggregate functions. Thank you.